How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be completing Showdown and unlocking the 89 overall face of the franchise Matt Olson. I really wanted to unlock that card. I had a couple extra silvers that I wanted to exchange. I got to about 30 uh, stars within the A's team affinity and I wanted to take you all through how to complete one of these showdowns without skipping all the way to the end. I know that you can complete each and every one of these missions and earn enough runs to pretty much tie the game or be down by about one or two runs when you're looking at that last showdown mission to where you have to beat Justin Verlander or whoever else you would be facing in that final showdown at the very end but I'm gonna go ahead and complete this all the way through I'm gonna try to complete all of these missions so this first one is uh, completing the save right here I didn't know that I needed to strike somebody out though so uh, it's always important to go in press start and hit the R1 button so you know what the missions are sometimes you just have to win the game sometimes you need a save with a strikeout and uh, just didn't get that strikeout so did not complete that first one that's okay it's not going to reset your entire run it's not going to make you fail you just continue on you hop into the next moment and for that last one I didn't get the rewards I didn't get that extra run I did not get the silver perk and player whatever those rewards that were going to help me along this showdown run but basically in the next mission, I hit a two-run homer with Kyle Seeger against a lefty. As you can see, it gave me the run and the congratulations reward screen to draft up another player. So I'm definitely taking Mitch Hanniger. That card has helped me uh, unlock Joey Gallo. It's helped me unlock Shohei Otani. I have done these types of things before, but I skipped all the way to the end in the previous uh, videos. I wanted to focus on completing these individual missions and earning those runs towards the showdown. This is the same type of way I was able to complete uh, the first inning showdown. I decided, you know, I'll just play the whole thing all the way through and try to complete it. Since they have changed the difficulty to All-Star for the final missions on all of these, then it is a little bit more challenging. They have given you an increased amount of outs, though, as well. Instead of 15 outs, you will now have 20 outs, which is nice. But uh, here is a situation where we're in a showdown. So we're facing Liam Hendricks. And if I do not pass this mission, because it is a showdown mission, I would I would actually fail this run and have to restart. So it's important to complete these showdowns along the way, obviously, so you don't have to restart. But you can also skip them. Like if I wanted to just skip this showdown, I felt like I might fail it. I can go all the way to the end, but then I would only have one or two runs towards those that final mission. I'd have to score 13 or 14 runs to win it with 20 outs. I'm going to try to complete this showdown as I did right here with this two run shot. That gave me the lead. Once you get the lead, it uh, ma it makes you s succeed. So we, we boost up our team a little bit. It, it'll give you some pitchers. Pitchers will certainly help you along the way, but in the final showdown mission, the final uh, mission against Verlander or Garrett Cole or whoever you're facing, uh, you won't necessarily need any pitchers at all you'll only be hitting so I kind of wanted to focus on uh, drafting up as many bats as I could to f to fill the lineup with and try to get as much power but I wanted to kind of take you through how many more missions are left completing the showdown in this way will take roughly around an hour maybe a little bit more time it will also cost you a thousand stubs every time you enter this showdown and draft up a team it does cost a thousand stubs but you also earn those stubs and a lot of XP back once you're able to complete the showdown and the thing in its entirety. So that's also helpful. You will be able to make stubs when it's all said and done by completing these missions. Individual missions give you XP and stubs. You'll also earn some silver cards as well as some uh, team affinity points and potentially more packs. So there's a lot of free rewards that you can unlock live series diamonds. Uh, throughout those packs, I have pulled a couple diamonds from those free packs that I've gotten after completing these team affinities but I wanted to kind of take you through a few more of these missions it, they won't take too much time but I wanted to kind of just give you some highlights here we have the deficit at 15 to 4 so it's an 11 run deficit we're trying to uh, count how many more runs we could possibly add to that total and it's looking like um, it's looking like we can get up to 12 runs if we complete everything from here on out I believe so 
Here, Jordan Alvarez is hitting one out. And I believe that this was a result of the active perks that I have. I have a perk that gives me increased exit velocities or increased contact. One of those two on pitches on the outside corner when there are guys on base. So luckily I was able to smack that outside pitch, pulled it for an increased exit velocity home run. I believe that's the perk that I'm using. I have a few of these perks active and they are all for hitting. I wanted to focus on drafting up all the hitting perks that I could because I'm only going to be pitching a few times in some of these moments. I just figured I would let the CPU draft up my team and, and uh, they will automatically fill the remaining portion of your squad. So I got guys like Julio Tehran, a couple bronze pitchers. I did end up drafting Joaquin Soria just to have a bullpen arm. But here we're in the second showdown against Shohei Otani. And I need to score uh, three or four runs before recording 10 outs. Already have one out. Jordan Alvarez hits a line drive the other way. That's once again had an active quirk, I believe. I might have uh, I might have had a couple active quirks at this point now that I've unlocked a few gold ones, a few diamond ones, a few uh, silvers, all different types of tiers as you move up in this showdown. So we do have the tie game here, 3-3. Three to three. And Daniel Vogelbach hits a no-doubter to let us win this showdown moment. And Daniel Vogelbach is somebody who I didn't even draft to begin this showdown run. It was a player that was automatically added to my squad as filling in the remaining portion of my bench. So that was helpful. He has great power against righties. That card's really helped me earn some of these diamonds. But here's a great opportunity to select a diamond perk. These perks are pretty helpful in this showdown mode. As you can see, I have the one that I just selected. It is activated. We have Matt Olson up at the plate, and that one's going to be sent out. I believe I had increased exit velocity on the first two pitches of the at bat or in a specific count. I know I had the defilibrator quirk, and that kind of uh, helps you in that situation. Different tiers give you different boosts. But this is why I drafted Mitch Hanniger. He is coming up clutch here. I needed to uh, get a couple extra base hits, a few RBIs in this, um, or I guess a few runs scored in that last moment. I was able to complete it, and they gave me three pitchers and Ramon Laureano. So I'm going to take this Ramon Laureano card. I didn't even use this card throughout the, throughout the run. I kept him on my bench just in case I needed somebody to go to on defense, which is kind of rare in this mode. But he's not as good of a hitter as some of these other guys. Now, I am using a uh, a bronze catcher when there would be a showdown moment where I can just put anybody in the lineup. It doesn't matter if they're out of position or not. I just try to put as many left-handed bats, as many power bats as I can. So I will end up using some of those gold cards or silver cards that I have on my bench. I will use them in place of players that are playing the field right now when I'm on defense. So. For moments like this, I put all the players in their right position. For showdown moments, I did not. I was able to put them in any order, any position, and it doesn't matter if they're out of position because all you're going to be doing is hitting anyway. So anyway, to end this uh, this moment right here, I got thrown out trying to get to in scoring position, trying to advance to second base. The previous moment, you had to win one game. You, you were given a lead. This last one was on All-Star, and it was a tie game. Had to walk it off. I had multiple chances in each and every inning. I just didn't clutch up and get the big hit. But that cost me two runs. So instead of having 12 runs towards the total, I now only have 10. But as I was just mentioning, I'm going to put all the best bats that I have in the lineup, trying to score these six runs in order to complete this showdown. And I'll get right into it right here. So we are facing Verlander. We have 20 outs remaining. The score is 15 to 10, and I'm trying to score six runs before I earn 20 outs. If I if I hit into a bunch of double plays, that would be the only way I foresee myself failing this mission. I mean, you can hit into a double play at any time. If you have a person on first base, the outs don't reset when you're uh, playing this. So every three outs, it's not like they clear the bases or anything. The runners will remain on the base paths. But... Uh, I got a little bit lucky. That that play was not made right there. Alex Bregman missed that line drive by Edgar Martinez. But now we have Vogelback coming up to the plate. This card was gifted to me. Now he's going to hit into a double play. When I say gifted, he's just luck of the draw. Uh, automatically added to the roster and significantly helped me in this showdown run. It's I think it's important to have some pretty good players on your team. It's nice to have a couple diamonds. I picked up Bregman. I picked up Mike Trout. I had a couple of these guys to use 
in this last stage to help me. So hit a home run there with Bregman. Now we have Tommy Lastella up at the plate. This guy's really good. Has a lot of vision, solid contact, good left-handed hitter. And he goes back-to-back, -back, making it 15-15. to -15. So now we have an opportunity where we just need one run. In this situation, I have 17 outs. I could always bunt if I had a guy that I felt comfortable trying to steal, advance the runner, trying to bunt him over. I could have done that where I could have, you know, bunted a couple times and hit a suicide squeeze or just hit a sack fly to score that run. But I figured with that many outs left, I could just try and hit the guy in. Matt Olson goes deep to unlock Matt Olson. You get these vouchers and it takes about three showdown runs in order to complete the 60 or 50 you know the 50 uh, stars if you complete this three times you'll earn 60 stars in total and i would recommend using a couple of those vouchers on a different um, team affinity so that way you can start earning your progress towards another one as well as unlock this reward so in a combination of exchanges and this showdown mode i was able to unlock matt olson my 11th team affinity has been completed and I'm ready for that next wave. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I was able to help you out in some way. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Peace out.